Hey everyone, Lexi Hills here, now for Regan's video. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, I was going to Spain, so I got back from Spain on Monday, so this is my first video since I got back. And I thought I've been doing a lot of modern fragrances released in say 2013-2012, so I decided I'm going to do another classic fragrance today. So um, this is one I got uh, during the summer, and that is a uh, Jovan Musk for Men. Now, this came out in 1973. And it was really, really cheap. I got it on Amazon. It cost me, I think it was £9, 88 mils. It lasts a while. And uh, my father used to wear this. And it was, he said it was the first cologne that got him a bit more attention. And um, I, I can't remember, like, back in the day, this is a bit more upmarket. You know, Yovan was a bit more upmarket back in the day compared to, say, like, your high Kirati and stuff. This was a bit more designer, a bit, a bit more high-end, you know, better quality fragrance. So back in the day, I, he, this is one that got him a lot more attention. So, like... Imagine everyone else is wearing one million and you're waving, say, Dior Home Intense. You'll stand out. So this, yeah, this is like the Dior Home Intense of back then. And um, I got the box as well because I wanted. To, there's something on the box that I wanted to read out. Now, part of the sort of advertising campaign, like that 70s and 80s, everything was very like high karate. You need to fight the women off, and these excellent advertising campaigns can make a mediocre fragrance sell like hotcakes because adverts. Oh, must buy it. it must be good. So it says in the back of the box, <clears throat> it works with your body's natural chemistry to create a sexy scent. Masculine, powerful, persuade, persuasive. It's what attracts. So I just thought, and I said, you know, it, it's so sure of itself that I thought I need to try this. And um, yes, look at the bottle. You get Yovan Musk for men. There's also a Musk for women. So if you search for Yovan Musk, you'll probably find that. Yovan in the top, silver cap, it's a bit cheap. The cap, but I mean, it probably was a better quality bottle back in the day. I believe it was only splash on back in the day. I'm not sure. Cologne vapors. And the one thing I want to add is, I'm not sure what concentrate this is. I don't know if it's eau de toilette or eau de cologne. The problem is, it probably is eau de cologne because a lot of seventy fragrances are. Um, but the only problem is, a lot of uh, companies will just call it cologne spray. So an eau de, it might be eau de toilette concentrate, but we'll just call it cologne spray. So I'm not sure. But uh, let's talk about the sprayer. The only thing is it's a bit, um The sprayer's not the best sprayer in the world, I'll show you here. It's okay, but it's fine. T t classic, it's just typical drugstore saying nothing fancy, cheap, but... I actually really like this. It starts off, I was surprised, I was expecting, you know, Aramis or something like that, you know, but um, this is very... Not barber shoppy. Um, not like, you know, Paco Ban or Itzaro. It's almost like florally. Spicy sort of flower. It reminds me of flowers, like ultraviolet. If you've smelled um, Packer Band's ultraviolet, it's a similar vibe to that. Similar, but vaguely, but not not like they won't smell the same. I mean, they'll smell vague as in the same florally sort of. It's a flower I recognise. Oh, trying to remember the name of it. And that comes in, and the musk comes in a bit later, so you get some more leathery, woody, musky sort of bit, which is quite cool at the end. But first I was surprised, I was expecting, you know, Clint Eastwood and I put this on, it was dead florally, and I was just like, you know, this is poof this fragrance. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but, um, really, really good, um, projection longevity, this is weird, like, it's, it dives in and out, I mean, this is, is eau de cologne, it's pretty good for eau de cologne, I'll tell you that. Longevity's pretty good, uh, I mean, I can spray this on at night before I go to bed and still smell it, you know, the next morning in my arm. I and mean, there's some EDPs that won't even last that long to me. But this one is actually not too bad. Projection is not too bad either. It's not the best. It's mostly a skin scent. But again, if it is only eau de cologne, it's not going to project like beast. So, but it's not, on me anyway, it depends. Um, I put five sprays on it. Again, it was one of the ones I couldn't smell it. After half an hour, then like two hours later, I'd be sitting and just get a whiff of it and I'd be like, damn. So, yeah, I mean, again, skin chemistry, it's not too bad. It is pretty decent for the price anyway. It's, it's quite unique, I mean it's, it isn't like most of your sort of 70s scents really. It's got its own sort of thing. I wouldn't say it smells outdated, I mean I know I say in my older videos that nothing's outdated, but with this one, I still really do like the scent. I think it is pretty damn cool. I mean I've got my silk shirt on and my white blazer, so you know, 70s, you know, look today. I should fold my collar over and you know, like that and give it all the, the night fever attitude. But, <laughs> No, 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 but um, this is Anchorman and Brian Fontana saying this is really good, I think. Let's, let's go back, if I'm going to do this, let's go back to the 70s. This, to me, would be 
a work scent, you'd wear it at work, it's probably be quite a versatile scent, it's the scent that men want to smell at any time, you know, it's one of those ones that you want to smell on a guy all the time. I mean, nowadays, I would say this, and this is pretty good for work. Just don't spray on too much, because some people might not like this, might find it outdated and clawing and stuff, but don't spray on too much, but it's not, like I said, the protection isn't beast. So do, do just spray it, and I'd say maybe two or three sprays max, three sprays max, and you should be fine with this. And um, for a date, I'm not really too sure about this one. There are better choices. I mean, you maybe could again if you're in the, if the person you're dating likes older scents as well and likes to try new things, they'll probably appreciate this. But if you're dating someone who likes guys wearing Paco by one million, don't really go for this. Eh? It will not, they won't probably like it. So yeah, and for casual wear, this is perfect for casual wear. I mean, this is um, jeans and t-shirt, and your masculine. It's good. Dress it up, dress it down. You know, really, really good. So, for the price, I'm not disappointed. It's also, a real, one thing I love is, like, the amount you get. It's 88 mils. I mean, have you, have you ever heard of 88 mils before? I've heard of, you know, 75, 125, and 30 mils, but 88 mils? That's just awesome. I mean, it's the fact that it's three, it's three, three fluid ounces. That's awesome. Not one ounce, not 1.4, not 2.6, not 3.2 of it, not, no, three. Just three, exactly three ounces. That's just the perfect... <laughs> the perfect amount, three ounces, not four, not five, three, just in between. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I love it. I love the bottle. I just love the look of it. Just, I, I just think it looks. I really like it on my my dress. I just, I just love how it looks uh, on my collection. It just stands out, um, and it's really cool to hold. It just, you know, just look how easy it is to hold. It sits easy. It has that retro 70s style. We get look at the massive Giovanni logo in the thingy here in the box. And it's coated, it's made in the USA, and it's coated, that, um, you know, distribute this one. And I don't believe, that it says yovanmusk.com, but if you go on that website, you don't really find it, and you only find it in the Coty website, I believe. But I mean, for, for £10 on Amazon, this is a pretty damn good scent. Um, well, the, again, one of the older ones that stands out for me, no one's really heard of it that much. You know, it's just like the Kenzo of the, back of the Kenzo of the 70s. You know, you, you would you wouldn't you know go looking for it. You wouldn't have heard of it. You just see it, smell it, and love it. So, Jovan Musk, my man, 1973, really nice scent. I think it still holds up today. Hard to find. So if you're a guy, a collector, and you want older scents, want to try something new, this isn't going to set you back too much. So do give it a try and see what you think of it. But yeah, I decided to do an older scent. I've done doing new ones so well, but this one's really good. I really like this. So yeah guys, that's that, um, this is my 49th video, and uh, I'm going to try, my next video, uh, I'm going to try and do a special one, a 50th special video, because it's my 50th video, and I've been here doing this for like, what, at least 4 months now, so uh, I'll try and do a wee tribute to all the clones, all my favourite clones, and see, see, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for it, but I'm going to try and do something special for the video, uh, make it a bit longer than my other ones, and stand out as a 50th special video. I'm also not sure what cologne I'm going to pick for that video, but I'm going to have to choose really wisely and hope for the best. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Um, it's been a while since I was in Spain. Uh, I don't have the best tan due to me being Scottish. I don't tan, I burn. So Spain was good. <laughs> I got home safely. I arrived home at 4 a.m. Uh, so it was a bit of a trip, you know. It was um, a flight was delayed and all that stuff. We got back and then the four-wheel drive to Manchester and a traffic jam. And we were lucky enough to arrive late into the jam, so there was an accident on the road, so we didn't have to wait around for three hours, we only had to wait for about an hour. Thank God. And after the plane trip, oh, I get hit with the jet lag, you know. Two days ago, I was just out of my bed, so. <laughs> I finally recovered enough to do this video. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, guys, leave your comments below. Please, if you have any questions, then feel free to message me any requests for any colognes, what you think of this cologne. If you had this back in the 70s, please do tell me how it sniffed to you, the differences in the bottle, any good experiences you had with it, any girls you got off wearing with it, feel free to tell me them as well, you know. Yeah, you know, totally. You know, giving it, giving it all the, the Brian Fontana, you know, casually walking up, you know, with a silk shot on, like, hey, my lady. Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But please, eh, do tell me if you've had any experience with it. I'd love to hear, because obviously I wasn't alive in the 70s, I want to hear how it was back then. So yeah, and remember these are all in the big playlists, if you want them, just find any videos you can, just go to the playlist. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, uh, check out my blog as well. I'll probably add, I think i just done a, a one on Jovan, on my my blog. I think I, think I did, I can't remember, I'm going to plan to do Jovan anyway, but um, 
I don't know if done recent one, so it'll be interesting to see how uh, how that gets on. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, take care and have a nice day.